able to understand the foreigners. When you learn a language, it is important to write, to um, speak, but to be able to understand uh, the native speakers is the most important point to me. Why? Because if we don't understand uh, people say what people say, uh, we cannot do anything. If we cannot speak, uh, but, but we can understand, it's okay because we can reply like one word if they say uh, a long sentence and then you can uh, reply yes or no. Uh, that, that like, it sounds much better. But if you cannot understand, that's finished. That's the end of the story. So my, uh, some, I got some tips today. If you want to be able to understand um, the foreigners, first, you need to watch the English movies. Some people say, are you crazy? You don't understand and then you watch the English movies. For sure, when you, the more you listen, the more you be able to catch the words the pronunciation because in the movies you can actually see the action and the words together especially the the movies I recommend like F movies or Netflix uh, where you can put a subtitle and in Cambodia we have um, or the other website like 123movies.com and then you go there and then you watch and then put the subtitle on. Maybe first you, you try without a subtitle and then you watch and then like... When you watch the movies, please try not to watch only once. You have to watch at least twice or three times or four times or ten times. And then you start to uh, put the subtitle in. Okay, right, like right now when you are listening to me, please press here, the CC, uh, so that you can see the subtitle. So when you see the subtitle, uh, like first time you don't see the subtitle, but you guess. You try to, to guess in your mind like, oh, is it like this word is uh, like this, like that. And then uh, when, you, when the, it is the second time to watch that movie, I know you guys are busy. Everyone is busy. I am busy. I am the teacher. I have classes. I have online classes. I have physical classes. Or you can say real classes. But I take this time, like 15 minutes, to make the video for you. Like, everyone don't have time. Everyone doesn't have time. But you need to... Um, to take some time, okay? Life is busy, but you have to do it. Otherwise, you don't have time. Everyone has 24 hours. Okay, let's come back to the topic. Um, first time, you just watch a movie, maybe one movie a day, because one movie usually goes like one uh, hour and 20 minutes. So it's 18 minutes. 18 minutes, okay? Or you can do like two days a movie, one movie, for two days. One day you do 40 minutes and then another day you do 40 minutes. And first time, like two, the first two days you just watch a movie without a subtitle. And then the third day you try the movie, the same movie, okay? I don't care if it is a good movie or a bad movie, but our goal here is to be able to understand English. I really want to uh, make the. Uh, I really want to play the movie and then explain, but I cannot do that because in YouTube, you have to. Uh, it's something called copyright. Okay, when I play the movie, I have the sound or I have the picture of the movies. I am, I'm doing. I'm committing a crime. I cannot do that. Okay, I can only explain you here, but you do it by yourself. You go to the movies, you go to Netflix, and then play it, and then watch it by yourself. And then the third day and the fourth day, you play that movie, the, the specific movie again, that movie again, and then put it with the subtitle. And then when you see the subtitle, 
told you feel like if you guess it right you feel completely very happy like you feel very very happy because okay it's my right guess but if you get it wrong it's okay it's okay yeah i did that and it helps me a lot now i can understand everyone in this world who speaks english not not other people who don't speak english um it it helps a lot okay it's movie is the number one and then uh the second one is the songs okay everyone loves songs okay so songs and news okay so if you watch uh, if you listen to the song or the news in english it helps you a lot actually the main goal is if you like something if you like the english song listen to english song if you like the english movies uh, if, you, if you like movies watch it in english if you like like the news watch it in english okay it will helps you it will boost your listening quickly okay i really like this one practice makes perfect okay uh not uh perfect makes practice no never okay so you people say i don't understand how can i watch the movies how can i listen to english songs guys the more you listen the more you understand okay so don't wait until you understand and then you go to watch the movies because it will never ever happen it will never ever happen i give you one million years and then you will you still can okay the people who watch this video i know that you have been learning english at least five years is your listening okay can you understand the movies if the answer is no you're on the right point you get my point because you have been learning english for three years for five years and then you can still not understand me without a subtitle why because you haven't practiced you haven't uh watch any english movies you just maybe you have seen the trailer or maybe you can see the translation the dubbed movies that uh, is speaking in your own language the picture is in a it's from america but the sound is your language you see how can you you uh you understand sorry i'm uploading uh, my video into uh, facebook and youtube so please guys listen listen and listen if you want to be able to listen okay listen to wherever you hear english wherever the media the people go to an american and talk to him don't just sit in your room and say oh i want to be able to understand english never it will never happen okay guys and uh one more thing is uh the technology your computer your iphone can help you a lot go to your phones and go to the google translate and type everything you don't know how to say it because if you say it wrong for example you say the word exciting and you say exciting how can you understand the people who say exciting because you you just you are used to the wrong pronunciation and then when when you hear the real one you say okay what is it i don't understand it because it's wrong go to if you don't have an american friend if you can you don't you are not able to take the classes with the foreigners or with uh, somebody who can speak perfect english just go to google go to google translate just spend like five bucks or uh, five dollars a month and you just do like okay type something down in your computer or your iphone and then um 
press on the speaker button and then you can hear the perfect sound. I don't recommend the translation because the translation might be wrong, but <clears throat> the sound is perfect. Most of my American friends say it's 99.9% .9 correct, okay? And if you have small kids, play that for them. Because if you teach bad English to them, they don't copy you because kids are smart. They copy from YouTube, they copy from Google. They don't copy you, okay? I do that with my students. And most of the time, they have better pronunciation than me. I've been learning, learning English for 15 years. But most of the time I do it with, uh, uh, not most of the time, sometimes I do it with my teachers, with my Cambodian teachers, with my Thai teachers, with my Filipinos teachers, and I don't have that. I cannot guarantee my English. But, guys, if you record yourself and uh, the subtitle here, because I don't, I don't make that subtitle, YouTube make it for me. So if it's wrong, it means my pronunciation is wrong. But if it's correct, it means it's okay. And I'm sure that my English is uh, a bit like okay. Uh, even though I'm not an American. I was born in Cambodia. I've never been to America. But I'm lucky because I've been with... Um, good Khmer teachers and good American teachers and Filipinos teachers. They don't speak good English, but they have the ways. And I'm sharing it with you now. Please do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends so that we can have good English. You know, guys, this is out of the topic. For me, I think that people have war because they speak different languages. I speak Thai and Lao and French, some French, but I stopped doing those languages, not because I hate those countries, but I think that when we have many languages, people, uh, the quality of the language is down. So I stopped, speak I stopped speaking and teaching Thai. I stopped uh, learning French. I stopped speaking Lao. Actually, when I go to Laos and I meet um, the people who don't speak English, I will try my best in Lao. But if I know that he can speak English a little bit, I will try it in English. So my goal is, you should learn your own language clearly, perfectly, and then English. Okay? Maybe uh, in the next 100 years, maybe we can do like Russian, if Russia become the, the world superpower. But it's not today. I'm sorry to say that, but it's not Russia today. Russia, are very, Russia is very poor. And we, can, we don't do trade with them. We do trade with Americans. We sell rice to America, and the Americans sell iPhone to us. So, guys... Please, please, please try your best to have good listening by doing what I'm talking. And if you cannot catch it, scroll it back to what I, I was saying. In YouTube is, and Facebook, it's very, very comfortable to do that. If you cannot catch it, if you cannot catch my pronunciation, my speaking, press the CC button here. And then you can see the, the alphabet running here, we call it subtitle. And then I'm sure you understand. Because most people in, Amer in Cambodia, in Thailand, in America, uh, in uh, Spain, people cannot listen, but they understand the subtitle here. Okay, so I want you, if you can, go one more step further and do listening without the subtitles.